Creating mind maps with MindMeister couldn't be easier. Simply launch your browser of choice and log into your account. Once in your personal dashboard, at the top left, select Create Mind Map. This will then launch a blank template for you to get started on. Let's call this one Project My Life. From here, with just a few clicks, you can get started on mapping out your life. Let's jot down a few goals and use them as a springboard for further ideas. We can then use these goals as ideas for individual topic headers, career challenges, finance, family, and health goals. With simple drag and drop functionality, we can then separate these goals out into individual topics. While this initial mind map looks okay, let's spice it up a bit and differentiate these topics with color and icons. By clicking on the Icon and Images tab within the user interface, you can customize the look of your mind map. Simply highlight the heading you want to add an icon to, select it from the drop-down, and your icon will be automatically inserted. You can add notes to any topic within your mind map. To add a note, simply click on the topic and enter your notes in the yellow pad. Clicking anywhere else on your mind map will automatically insert this note to your selected topic. MindMeister also offers you the ability to automatically insert notes to any topic with our Wonder Note feature. To access this, simply click on the gear icon located just below the notepad. By clicking Advanced, you can then append any of your original notes to this automatically generated note and modify them in any way you choose. To add a link to your mind map, simply click on the forward arrow icon within the Extras section. You can either manually enter a web address to be associated with your mind map node, or, like WonderNote, our Wonder Link feature can automatically insert the most relevant link to your mind map. In this case, Linking the topic Elmhurst takes us directly to the City of Elmhurst, Illinois homepage. Similar to adding notes and links, MindMeister also allows you to add your own attachments to any mind map. To add an attachment, first we've got to upload it. Again, under the Extras panels, click on the paperclip and then Upload. Once your selected file is uploaded, it will then be automatically inserted into your mind map and is now available to anyone viewing your map. To get started with images, simply click on the Images tab under the Icons and Images menu. By default, you're presented with a wide range of stock images and icons that you can use anywhere in your mind map. Select an image you like and simply click on it. This will automatically insert this image to your selected node. If you'd rather put the power of the web to work for you in your search for that perfect image, no problem. Similar to our Wonder Note and Wonder Link features, Wonder Build can automatically select and insert an image for you based on the relevancy of your selected topic. If you'd rather choose the image by hand, under the Image tab, select Use an Image from the Web. Again, MindMeister will search Google Images for the most relevant results, but you can also enter any URL of your choosing to search for images. Once you've found an image that fits perfectly to your node, select it, click on Use Selected Image, and this image will then be inserted into your mind map. Sharing your MindMeister mind map couldn't be simpler. In the bottom left corner, click on Share Map. In this case, let's invite others to view and collaborate on our mind map. If you've shared maps with others before, these names will appear in the usual buddies list. If not, simply enter the email addresses you'd like to share your map with. Once selected, you can add notes, descriptions, or instructions within the personal message field. By logging into their account, this user may then view and modify your map, making it the ultimate collaborative experience. With MindMeister's history feature, you can zero in on specific dates and or users, or watch the map develop with our playback feature. Clicking on the history icon brings up the entire map history. By sliding the timeline left or right, you can easily see who modified what and when. The MindMeister history feature indicates version numbers as well as date and time of the changes and individual collaborators are given a unique color making them easy to identify. This and a whole lot more available at MindMeister.com.